All right. All right. One. And uh, we got Justin here too. Hey. Yeah. So um, we're here. We're going to be talking about um, what's coming up and everything like that. Um, I just want to get a quick intro into how to partake in Camp Capstone. And the most important thing is to go to our website, go to capstone-games.com slash discord. Um, there's also a little camp link at the top of the page you can see there. Um, and that'll bring you into um, basically all the details of it. Um, discord is really what you're going to need to download and, and, and use. It's basically a group messaging platform where um, you're going to get all the information for our games and how to play demos, um, when the panels are happening and everything like that. So yeah, please, please check that out, jump in and we're happy to have you and all the information's uh, on our website. So, but, uh, yeah, that's discord and just wanted to, uh, welcome you all and I'm pretty excited about what we got, uh, going on at the show today, um, and tomorrow too. So, um, what do we have? Justin? anything? Uh, anything you're looking forward to? Uh, yeah, we have a, a bunch of stuff going on. We get to test out a lot of our upcoming games. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, you get to uh, try out uh, Curious Cargo, New York Zoo. Um, also, some of the stuff that we've just recently released. So you get to try out Ride the Rails, um, which is the second one in our Ride the sure Rails can. series. So, yeah, um, everything, it looks good. On top of that, uh, there's a couple interviews coming out that you'll hear with Chris, um, with uh, those two, the, the big two being Ian O'Toole, the graphic designer, and then uh, Andreas Odenhall, uh, developer or designer of um, uh, Cooper Island. So, so it'll be very interesting. There's a lot of uh, cool stuff we have going on. On top of that, it's just a, a fun community aspect that you get to have. So if you want to just jump in and try some things out, um, just chat with people. Uh, the Discord will be available to everybody uh, throughout the weekend. So uh, just jump in and, and see what you can do. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited for Ian O'Toole and Oda's interview. I mean, I... So Ian, when we did Pipeline the first time, um, I don't know if you remember the prototype, but man, there was just so much density in the game. With, well, I mean, it's a prototype, so we're we we're able to play it, but like the the amount of math and background noise is what I like to call it, with all the symbols and letters and numbers, it was just mm -hmm. mind boggling to just parse and understand where what, what you're doing and what Ian can do with graphic design and how he can remove and strip all that away was pretty impressive so i i hope i, I can't wait to hear what he has to say yeah. about that kind of stuff. he did he did the exact same thing with ride the rails and the symbology and ride the rails really really helped yeah. uh, sh uh streamline that a little bit or else that would have been that could have been a nightmare to try and right uh for people to try and figure out yeah so. I, like i remember we were playing so ride the rails man we were playing that in that was last year, 2019, when, when things were awesome and you could do yeah, stuff. Yeah, we played that at uh, – Grand. Or, um, no, the first time we played that ATD. was in Wisconsin at the yeah. ACD get-together. So. Yeah, I, one, of my, one of my favorite memories of that was we had the old Winsome style, the black and white with a little bit of color here and there. I mean, it just looks pretty rough, mm -hmm. but it gets the job done. You know, you're there to play the mechanics and – We'll, we'll bring the colors and the theme there. Um, but anyway, we're playing it at this bar and at the hotel, and it's this huge, sprawling game. And it, it, you know, it's got the map of the U.S., and trains are being built on there. And we had so many people come up to us just because maybe it was they were there with ACD or they were just there hanging out for the weekend or whatever, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just ask, this game looks really cool. What is this? And so we would explain it to them, and, Every time we'd get the oh, it's it's like a little bit more advanced ticket to ride. I was like, maybe. <laughs> exactly. Well, we can go with that route. I mean, <laughs> but it was that was some. And shout stuff. out to uh, one of our team members, Tim, who came up with the uh, reverse um, reverse turn order uh, tweak in order to make everything work for us. Yeah, 
that was that was huge. I know he spent so much time on that, and because we were having when we play three players, if somebody doesn't take the same color of train in that first round, um, they're pretty. They're, they're, they've dug themselves a huge hole, and in the old rules, exactly. yeah. you're done. I mean, there's no there's no way to uh, come back from that. So, what Tim was able to do, he created this, he created the entire turn order mechanic and ride the rails, and I think that was, yeah, really cool. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And speaking well, of, well, you know, just kind of un- unique things, and what'll be coming up with the uh, Andreas Odenhall interview um, with Cooper Island. Uh, being just a unique way to play that exploration style of worker placement. Um, I love yeah. the map and the, I mean, uh, the look of it was was amazing. And the first thing that drew me to it and the way that it plays out, um, I'm excited to hear, um, you know, just pretty much anything from Oda. So. Yeah, he, that stacking system is really cool with the resources and, do I want to stack up or do I want to, you know, push it out a little bit more on my island? So I like his designs a lot. He's he makes those tight designs that you just I don't know just keeps you coming back. I like it. Mm-hmm. So but yeah, what else do we got? We've got um, yeah. So at, so basically, we're gonna do this little welcome show, and then um, following us, we've got. I'll just I'll just step through the schedule here at eleven o'clock. This and these times are all Eastern, so um, mm-hmm. just do the math. Um, but so at eleven o'clock, um, Christina Rouse, Jess Davis, and David Thompson. Um, David Thompson, designer of Undaunted Normandy, probably my favorite game from last year, non-capstone related. Um, mm-hmm. Undaunted is Dominion, but with a board, and it's a World War II theme. It is incredibly awesome. It's an awesome two-player experience. Uh, but he's going to jump and in. I am and play. not. Yeah, I was about to say I'm not. I'm not exaggerating when I say that he has mentioned Undaunted nearly every time that we've ever met up in the past year. So yeah. he is. Uh, he is a huge fan of it. It's good stuff, man. I love it. So David Thompson, we got uh, Christina Rouse from Blue Pig Pink Pig, Jess Davis from Heavy Cardboard, um, and. Uh, Tim Coles might pop in on that as well, but they're going to do a live play at 11 o'clock of Ride the Rails. So you're going to be able to see um, the game in action and uh, got some really fun people to that are going to be playing it. So definitely pop in for that. Um, I think they'll be playing the USA map. And uh, we've got, if you're f- not familiar with Ride the Rails, um, we've got an expansion that um, tweaks some of the rules, but it's really small tweaks. I mean, once you know how to play ride the rails and the rules are like one sheet of paper, so it's not that hard. Mm -hmm. Um, The tweaks are pretty much two to three rules and new, new, uh, new graphics and everything like that. Um, So we've got a France and Germany expansion as well, but um, so then they'll be playing that uh, for about an hour. And then at one o'clock Eastern, we've got a highlight reel. And what this is, um, it's an overview of our games, um, some of our recent releases. Um, so it's a quick 10, 15 minute snapshot of the game shows you the pieces and what it looks like on the table. Um, I'm a big fan of that cause you see a great game box and maybe on the back, you've got a 3d image, but you're going to be able to see it, all the pieces and what comes in it. So mm-hmm. we'll be doing that for about two hours. Um, we did, uh, what did we do with that one? We did, uh, New York zoo. Uh, is one of them and when chris opened the box um it the, all these wooden animal pieces man it looks so cool i know justin so justin is in um columbus sorry to divert a little bit mm-hmm. but justin's in columbus i'm in cincinnati usually we meet up all the time but with covid and stuff yeah. and it's just been a little difficult but um yeah, i gotta show you new york zoo man the the, the wooden animal meeples are really cool i think alex would really like them too um yeah, they're really, they're really cool. But uh, I'm gonna have a hard time sending that back to you because sorry, sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's way too cool, way too cool. Yeah, the there's a ton in there too. But so after that, we've got at three o'clock, um, we'll be rolling the interview uh, between Chris and myself, uh, talking a little bit about Capstone and the history of it. So if you're curious on where we started and um, where we're at today 
and maybe what's coming in the future. Definitely tune into that. That's about an hour interview. Um, I do, by the way, guys, I cannot believe I didn't mention this in the interview, but today, this, this very day, August 15th, is the exact five-year anniversary of Capstone Games. It's been a oh, full five it? years. Is it really? Yeah. I was like, that's pretty cool. I mean, on this day too. So, woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, it's been, it's been, it's been an adventure. Um, lots of lessons learned and um, couldn't have done it without all you guys and the help and everything like that. Just being a part of it is awesome. So very thankful for all of that. Um, let's see. So after my interview at three o'clock, uh, we're going to roll into a live play of Curious Cargo. And what this is going to be, um, all the other live plays are on Tabletop Simulator or Tabletopia, so it's a digital implementation. Mm -hmm. um, but this one, we had the production copy come in from the factory, and um, some of the components are final, like the wooden pieces, um, the, the turn order track, and some, and some of the cardboard uh, elements. But the PVC player boards and shipping boards and all of the cards in the game are not final quality. Um, the factory doesn't have the means to just print off a one-off sample um, of those pieces. So um, I'm sure Brandon and Josh, they're going to be running, the uh, Brawling Brothers are going to be running this uh, live play in person. So you're going to be able to see the actual pieces and what they look like. Um, but just know that the player boards, shipping boards, and the cards are not final at all. Um, they will be actually high quality material, not just the little cardboard cutouts or paper cutouts or whatever they are. Um, but uh, yeah, so Josh from Brawling Brothers is going to play off against Jordan. Um, and I think Ryan Courtney will pop in there, hopefully, if he has time. If he doesn't, no big deal. Um, but uh, Quan Shai did the art for this. And you, it's I think gorgeous. Justin, yeah, you you should explain like the idea. I feel like you had this like crazy idea for like doing some kind of weird things and with it, you know, and you had some nice creative aspects yeah. to it. So obviously it's from the creator of pipeline, Ryan, Ryan Courtney. So I, I, I know Clay and I were sitting in the office and kind of trying to figure out what direction we wanted to go with it. Um, uh, and we didn't want it to be so pipeline. Like we wanted you to feel, like you were still playing that puzzle aspect of pipeline, um, but with a different, I, I, I didn't want it to be the same. I didn't want people to think that it was pipeline light. Um, so Clay and I came up with this idea of trying to make it just a little bit more quirky. Um, and so that's where we got uh, Quan Chai involved. Um, he does excellent artwork when it comes to those type of things. Um, and then coming up with the little creatures and the uh, uh, little uh, yeah, wooden the pieces that you guys see, yeah, yeah. and uh, trying to trying to make it feel fun for a two player lighter game. You know, I mean, I say light; it it it's <laughs> still pretty intense. Um, it may not be pipeline intense, but it is still, you know, a little bit of a brain burner uh while you're playing it so but while you're playing it i didn't want you just to be looking at pipes i wanted you to see the the fun quirky aspect and a little bit of danger when you're trying to ship these things in and out so so that's where we came up with in coordination with quan Chai with the uh with the uh little wooden pieces that you see in the products that you're actually shipping so yeah it was fun. Yeah. It was fun to uh, to work on uh, and be involved a little bit with that as we were sitting around the office, kind of shooting <laughs> shooting ideas Different around. Ideas, man. We had so many weird ideas, but that's what you got to do. Um, yeah, I'm glad we got Quan Chai to do that because he. I mean, we we were like, hey, this is this is kind of the idea. I mean, he 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 bounced idea. We all bounced ideas back and forth, and what we landed on was so solid and just really fits the game really well and i just when when he created these characters it just made it come to life that much more and then you have uh, bridget and delicato uh, doing the graphic design um, where she made yep. the wooden pieces the way they are um, and just kind of had this whole package presentation was 
phenomenal. I mean, she did a great job on it. So really fortunate to work with those two on Furious yeah. Cargo. Yeah, so. I have ideas, but I'm not good at art. So I have no <laughs> idea how to bring that stuff to life. I can just spit them out of my head. That's as far as I go for that. Yeah, I mean, you got some really cool stuff. I mean, we're talking about, I mean, maybe we can talk about the Fury project later on sometime, but yeah. Yeah, I think that yeah. I think that would be a good thing to talk about later on if we ever get a chance. Um, just yeah, real quick, it's our it's gonna be Capstone's kind of first tiptoe steps into kind of a fantasy genre that you don't typically see from us at all. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. but we're gonna we're gonna step we're gonna stick our toe in and see how it feels. Um, I we have yeah. some pe some great people and some new people that you probably haven't heard of before assigned to this already. So um, hopefully, crossing yeah. fingers, it'll be it'll be a good one. So I, this project, I mean since we're already talking about it, I mean, I just want to kind of jump into it because we, we, you and I have been like really heavy into this for the last month or so mm -hmm. now because we're preparing for 2021 um, with this one and um, we're working on the terrain tiles. There's a bunch of different, there's like 40 terrain, 36 or something like that terrain tiles in the game. Yep. And we have Henning working on the, uh, the tiles and the artwork. And so we're going through the, concept drawing right now and it's it's coming together and then um you're pretty heavily involved in the the card artwork as well yep yep we have a we have a semi uh new artist um working on this stuff um uh i don't want to say too much until we get everything signed because she's just come on board uh a little bit so i don't want to you know give out names quite yet um but uh we have some really cool ideas working with the card art on that by the way there's cards in it um <laughs> a lot of so cards i mean <laughs> there's a lot of cards um if you can't tell we are super excited about this project because we have been playing it for a little over a year now i think right or at least close it's, to a year um, yeah because we were pitched um we kind of started talking to the designer. Um, what was that? Oh, Buckeye Game Fest was in September, I think, last year. So about a yeah, you're right, about a year yeah. ago. Yeah. So getting close to a year, we were talking to him about it, and uh, yeah. we we went over to his house. He played it, um, and we fell in love with it because it is it is really fun. This will be another two player plus ish game and you'll you'll eventually know why we say two player plus um yeah. but uh but point. yeah it's uh <laughs> i was like two player plus what do you mean oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah so it's 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 super exciting it's, it's it, like i said it's it's a place we haven't been before um but yeah. we clay and i really enjoy playing it so we hope that you guys once you get your hands on it uh enjoy yeah. it as well it's got a war game feel i will i will drop that it is a essentially it's a war game um but uh correct yeah it's it's card based <laughs> it's hard for us not to just spill all the beans i know again, man i just want to uh, the theme is is what is so awesome with this one i just mm -hmm. When, when, there's uh, a, when you, I mean, yeah. besides Fury, there's a lot more on our plate, which you'll we'll we'll make some announcements uh, at a later date. But um, <laughs> we have a lot of cool stuff for you guys coming out. So we just hope that you continue supporting us, um, and and uh, hopefully you continue liking our stuff, and we keep putting out good products for you guys. So. Yeah, we're trying. I mean, we. We're not trying to put out just random stuff or behind every single game that we do. So, exactly. Um, but yeah, so back to the schedule. Four o'clock, we've got the Curious Cargo stream. Um, so, Quan Chai did the art. Uh, Bridget, graphic design and all the wooden pieces and everything looks, the, the whole presentation of the package is awesome. Um, but uh, yeah, so Josh from Brawling Brothers um, and Jordan from Brawling Brothers as well will be playing each other in real, real time. I mean, this is a. Uh, physical copy for the most part of the game mm -hmm. so uh, once that wraps up um, 
I'll see. I'll be back here for a live discussion um, with um, Tim Kaiser, Ryan Courtney, hosted by um, Brandon from Brawling Brothers, talking about the design and development of Pipeline and Curious Cargo. Um, because for those of you new to Capstone, Pipeline was our very first ever um, game that we took from prototype, like raw prototype, as raw as you can get, to developing it all the way up to a final product. And so we're going to talk about that process for both Pipeline and Curious Cargo. Um, I kind of mentioned a little bit of it in our interview earlier in the day. And uh, but yeah, we'll be just having a good time talking about it and uh, just seeing what's what's coming next with those games and the systems that Ryan's created. So um looking forward to that one then after that we have a very special event i'm very stoked for um at eight o'clock tonight brawling brothers is hosting the bourbon and whiskey night um and for those of you that go to origins game fair in columbus every june except for this year um unfortunate we've yeah man it's like this whole year has been whatever but i'm glad we have this ability to to hold this online exactly. event together. Yeah. Um, so for the last, I think, two years, maybe three now, um, this would have been our third year, I believe. Okay, two years. Chris is saying two. Yes, two years. Um, <laughs> this would have been our third year of, we have a little room at Origins where we, so we sponsor Origins and we're, we get really nice placement. We do a lot with them. Um, and so they kind of reciprocate that. But we uh, we have our own room where we would, throw all of our games on the table and it's you know it's there's no tickets or anything you just go in there and you can just play any of our games um and sometimes we'd have people in there to teach you but on friday night of origins we would have a uh bourbon and whiskey night um hosted by game all night uh which is chris's show and uh brawling brothers played a huge part in that as well mm -hmm. um but uh yeah chris yeah, so, you know, since I stopped doing game all night, it kind of, you know, I put it on pause, so it felt a little weird. So I'm yeah. like, and, I, and I'm kind of working, so, you know, having a lot yeah. of bourbon and working didn't exactly seem right. So <laughs> the Brawling Brothers are always willing to drink, uh, and bourbon, Brawling Brothers, we got that going on. So, uh, <laughs> dude, they stepped up in a big way. It's going to be... Like it's going to be phenomenal. The, there are going to be prizes galore. Like if you're, you know, yeah. you have to be in the continental U.S. Sorry, you know, shipping's a thing. Uh, but it's, oh, I can't wait. I just can't wait. I get to play. I get to participate in in the event. So I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, tons of prizes, man. Like we've got a lot for giveouts and giveaways and all that stuff. So I'm mm -hmm. Brandon and Josh. Jordan, Brawling Brothers, really appreciate you guys doing all this stuff and can't wait to have you guys bring your energy to this and um, have a, just going to have a good time. And by the way, this is not a uh, mandatory, you know, drink fest or anything like that. I, I want to make that clear. It's it's just about yeah. getting together with friends and having a good time. Um, you know, it, it's it's not about how many drinks you can have or anything. It's It's just literally like a good time with everybody, you know sip a drink if you want one if you don't you know that's totally fine too it's you know it's it's all about just coming together having some fun talking about some games and fun events and uh hopefully winning some prizes so just yeah i think at that point in time in the in the day i'll be enjoying some coffee more more so than than bourbon <laughs> i'm a late night coffee drinker so uh that's probably what you'll see me with is, is a, <laughs> so a bit of coffee so you know, I learned something. Uh, you can you can actually like make a Manhattan with bourbon, all right, and chill it. Yep. Is this works best? And then pour it uh -huh. over coffee, like do a pour what? over, and it kind of just gives like a light coffee flavor to your Manhattan. So I think that might show up tonight because I think I need all to right, make that. So on top of that, Clay will now be trying that. <laughs> I, am, I have to, I have to get next, sweet vermouth next several Is days. Is in there too? Uh, all the ingredients. Depends how you want it. If you're using a really sweet bourbon, like a uh, maker's mark or something, I just use dry because it's already sweet enough. It doesn't need any yeah. help. But just just uh, just saw that yesterday, and I'm like, uh, 
yes need that that's like the brunch Ooh. drink of champions yeah that's that is impressive is that like a like that, what's the ratio i'm just curious what's the ratio of that like is it more coffee or in, in a little bit of the manhattan or is it like half and half it was a full-size manhattan so it was about four ounces after it was shaken yeah. and then it was poured through about 30 35 gram 32 grams of uh coffee Oh, you yeah. pour the coffee. You do a oh. pour over. You do a pour over with it. Yep. Fancy. Wow. Ah, that's cool. <laughs> I uh -huh. do enjoy Manhattan. The trees. So there you go. Yeah. There you go. Man, I have to go run to the store today now. <laughs> 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 oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for that tonight, though. Um, so join us. That'll be the the last of the show for uh, today. That's a packed schedule, too. Don't get me wrong. That's a lot of stuff. Meanwhile, in the background, there's demos of everything going on. And when I say everything, it's pretty much the four games or the three games that we've got coming out this year. Um, well, it is four games because we got Ride the Rails, Curious Cargo, Renature, and New York Zoo that you can demo um, if there's some time slots available. And again, all of this information is available on capstone-games.com slash discord. And that'll bring you to where you can get your tickets for demo events and everything like that. So, yeah, basically from now until tomorrow evening, that's your entire demo schedule. It's pretty awesome. We have an awesome demo staff. Major shout out to Tim Coles for handling that. Josh Denmead as well. Thank you, guys. Um, we'll be getting together for sure soon um, as a thank you. So um, really appreciate that. And if, if you ever enjoy the a lot of the demo staff that you may encounter at conventions and stuff in the past a lot of that is tim so if you ever see tim and and you've enjoyed your demo time and stuff like that give him a give him a shout out or a thank you because he works really hard to get uh, some good people in there that yeah. and and they've been really good so yeah tim's been awesome i mean organizing everything and uh, now we got Josh too, and uh, it's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, all right, so that'll wrap up today. And then tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. again, um, we're going to start it off with a live play of Renature. And Renature is a is the latest game from our Simply Complex line, following like the Estates and the Climbers, if you're familiar with it. Um, board Game Barrage and iHeart Board Games are going to be playing this game. It's a two to four player game, plays in about an hour. Um, we talk about it in our Spotlight or the highlight reel coming up at one o'clock. And this is a design by Wolfgang Kramer and Michael Kiesling. I'm hoping I'm saying the German name right, but um, this legendary duo is for real with this one. This is an area control tense game of Dom. It's got these cool domino effects um, and uh, really neat triple layered scoring, which yeah, Justin, we were talking about that and uh yeah, it's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> I got to watch. So. Uh, I was supposed to be part of the original demo, but I, my fault. I ran a ran a little behind. I got a little confused, but um, we, I got to I got to actually watch Clay uh, play it for the first time, and boy was he ex <laughs> excited after afterwards. We had a little call uh, to discuss it, um, and uh, he was very excited and. Uh, I loved the look of it. The I mean, they they did an amazing job with with uh, mm -hmm. how it was set up. Um, I love the domino aspect, um, but but just overall, the the look is gorgeous. Um, definitely draws you in, and then the gameplay just just keeps you there. So yeah, I want to just mention. So this the you got the designers. You got Dennis Lohausen. Famous for Terra Mystica and a bunch of other games. He's for Odin. The, that's the artwork and illustrations on this game as well. Um, and then you have um, Deep Print Games. And for those of you kind of new to this hobby or industry or whatever, um, Deep Print is a brand new publisher out of Germany. And they um, are composed of what I like to call pretty much the German all stars. You've got uh, <laughs> Matthias Nagy from. Frosted Games. Frosted put out uh, Watergate with us last year. Um, Victor, I'm not going to pronounce his last name because I, I just can't. I know it's like Kobolke. 
Um, but he does a lot of the editing, um, fine tuning, more development side of the games. And he's really put a lot of effort into um, a lot of games like Great Western Trail, Watergate, Mombasa, a lot of those, a lot of those games. You have Peter Eggert from Eggert Spiel. And you have two other gentlemen from Pegasus Spiel that have come together to create this company called Deep Print Games. And man, with this Renature game, you've got you've got Deep Print plus Wolfgang Kramer and Mikkel Kiesling and Dennis Lohausen. And it's just this powerhouse team. Right off the bat, we've got eight language partners for this game. And mm -hmm. I'm just saying all this because this isn't the only game that they're going to be doing. I mean, we've got, we're, we're talking to them about future games as well. And there's a lot of really cool stuff coming down the pipe um, with Deep Print. So very, very happy with that. Um, but yeah, so Renature's at 10 a.m. Check it out. We just launched pre-orders. Um, if you did pre-order New York Zoo or Curious Cargo, look for an email from me in about 30 minutes or so um, with some details on that. Um, so I won't leave you hanging, I promise. Um, but uh, so at noon uh, on Sunday, the interview with Ian O'Toole drops. And I'm so stoked with this because I just, when, when we did Pipeline and Irish Gage and Ride the Rails together. I mean, I'm just learning so much of this design and development process that he kind of puts in his graphic design and what he does to make it sing and make you as the player able to focus on your gameplay rather than the unnecessary background information. So I'm looking forward to that one. Um, yeah, so we've got that at noon and then at one o'clock on Sunday. Um, really excited about this one too. Wheel tapping. Um, it's a podcast with, uh, Tony, Tony Fryer, um, from heavy cardboard and, uh, Chris Whitpan, um, where we're going to talk with, um, Tim Coles and myself and talk about the iron rail series. And you might want to check out that one because we probably will be talking about the third installment of the iron rail series and, uh, where we're going with that whole thing. So that'll be at, um, one o'clock tomorrow. Um, after that, we go to the three o'clock interview with Oda of Cooper Island. Um, he's worked on uh, La Granja and Solarius Mission in the past, and he's got some really cool stuff as well to talk about uh, at three o'clock tomorrow. And then um, two more events, and that'll close the show. This, um, the second to last one is at four o'clock. We're saving New York Zoo for the last live play. And we've got Sarah, Sarah Shaw, Ant Lab Games, and Neelan um, are going to be playing this game. Um, New York Zoo is the latest from Uwe Rosenberg, and it's coming from us in Feuerland Spiel from Germany. And um, it's a nice family weight game with a little bit more depth than you would typically see in a said family weight game. So mm -hmm. um, that live play will go off at 4 o'clock tomorrow. And then we do the wrap-up show at 6 o'clock. Um, me and Justin, Chris, will be back here. Um, just kind of wrapping up the show. <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll uh, probably something that you don't want to miss is the wrap up show. Um, definitely yeah. want to be a part There's of that. Things coming for that one. Yep. Yeah, we've got winners of some winner announcements. Um, kind of wrapping up the, the fun stuff that's happened over the last couple of days um, and a big giant thank you, that kind of thing. And, you know, maybe, maybe some secret stuff coming and we'll just leave it at that. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just really excited for this whole day. I and tomorrow too. Like it's the stuff we have on schedule is, is incredible and an, an amazing amount of people uh, from all, all walks of life in the industry and just coming together to play some games and just have a good time. That's really what it's all about. So, yeah, that's, and that's what we're going to be doing today and tomorrow at Camp Capstone. So. Yeah, I'm super excited about all of it. Also, um, we, uh, you'll be able to find a lot of uh, like admins and moderators in the Discord. So if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to just ask us. Um, if you need need anything in particular, uh, just message us. Let us know. Uh, I know I'll be in there uh, most of the day, if not the entire day. Um, so uh, if you, like I said, if you need anything, don't hesitate to ask. 
Yeah, same here too. I mean, that's that's a good way of putting it. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing that we got coming up is a live play of Ride the Rails, and that's going to be here at the top of the hour with uh, David Thompson from Undaunted Normandy and Undaunted North Africa, which I think is coming out pretty soon. Um, Christina Rouse from Blue Pig Pink Pig and Jess Davis from Heavy Cardboard. Um, Tim Coles might pop in there, um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll probably be checking that live play out and uh, I'll be around the whole day as well in the Discord channel, popping in, seeing how things are going and everything like that. Um, but yeah, I think it's pretty cool we got this this event going on. I mean, yeah. think about it like there's no conventions this year. I mean, you do have the online conventions, but when actually I do want to just mention that because you called me the other day and you're we're talking about just conventions in general and that the magical atmosphere that they have, but mm -hmm. an online convention and the differences between that, you know, like how you were saying, like, you can't just like walk up to a booth and just something catches the corner of your eye. You know how you were saying that? And... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not, it's not quite as, it feels a little bit impersonal, but it's, it's the best that we have at the moment. Um, like I said, if you just even if you just want to chat for a second uh, about something um, and get that convention feel uh, where you got to interact with it with with usually booth staff or people playing the games, then do that. I want you guys to feel I want everyone to feel uh, like like they are sitting in our booth and uh, experiencing all of these things. Um, and I think we've did a, we've done a great job trying to to set this up. All of our uh, people we are working with, and everybody has been so generous with their time and effort. And Clay and I especially appreciate everything that uh, our booth staff and uh, everyone behind the scenes, all the work that they put in to make this a thing. So yeah, um, we appreciate everyone right off the bat for for everything yeah i think like where i was going with that is like this is a way to just kind of have that convention feel where it's not all these other booths and booths and digital booths and everything this is all together in one discord server where you can still get that feel and like you can like you said just pop in and just have a conversation and you know if you have questions about the game or if you experience a cool strategy that you didn't see the first time you played or or something that you're interested in even trying out like hey has anybody tried this mm -hmm. you know specific strategy like with ride the rails has anybody ever just stacked up on one color of train the entire game you know just mm -hmm. stuff like that you know this is a great way to pop in and just start that dialogue and and just get an embrace with the games over this weekend and just the whole system we have is incredible uh from a back-end perspective i mean chris it's Showing me like all the all the software he's running and just making this happen. So Chris, thank you for for getting this all set up. I mean, <laughs> this is incredible, sir. This is just wow. It's You're awesome. welcome. It's this is this is fun. I miss you know I miss demoing at Capso. It's the first company I ever cap you know demoed for. So I'm like we 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 got to do something. So yeah yeah. I mean, I'm excited. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's, that's it. Welcome to Camp Capstone. I am so excited for everybody to just jump in and experience all the latest games that we've got coming out, um, both Ride the Rails and the future ones for the for later this year. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, seriously. Thank every, thanks, thanks to everybody who's participating. And uh, we really hope to uh, interact with you and see you guys, see everyone out there. So, yeah, we'll catch and you all up at the uh, wrap up show. Yeah, ab absolutely. Thank you from the booth. So, what do you what do you say we close this out, gentlemen? That sounds Let's like do a great it. Idea. Let's get this party started. Let's do it. <laughs>